the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. Finally guys, we're done with all the legendary fruits. Dope fruit, dragon fruit, phoenix fruit. We've already awakened the venom fruit. Now, it's time to awaken the gravity fruit. So are you ready guys? I am so ready. Guys, this fruit awakening is kinda hard. You will know why. So let's start, okay? So first skill, we have the floor. Again, for the last time, guys, you don't need to like do the first quest. Just finish this quest. There you go. The snake man quest. He will ask you to get three fried chickens. Chickens or fried chicken or whatever. That's the first location. Next up is the spawn point. And next up is the building. The black market building. <clears throat> there you go. So do this until you reach level 11. So I think you need to do it like uh, four or three times. All stats on the powerful. So after that, level 11, start doing this quest. Defeat seven clown pirates. How do you do it? That one. There you go. Lure two. Two, 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 two. Okay? You need to kill seven. Do this until you reach level 13. When you reach level 13, you can now unlock the meteor. So things will be faster. There you go. See that, guys? You cannot lure all at the same time. So do this strategy. Two there. Two there. Okay, wait for it to spawn. There you go. So do this until you reach level 20. And after that, time to defeat Smokey. So at first, you will be having a hard time with Smokey. Guys, during this recording, there's a war happening in this starting island. There's a lot of fighting. There you go. So in a way, they help me level up. So when you reach level 25, you can now unlock the rock fly. Guys, fun fact. Uh, if you're standing, for example, in a cement or in a wood or whatever, that is the color of the rock that your player will be standing on. So check that out. When you reach level 30, you can now start defeating Tashi. Again, a lot of fighting. Can you see that, guys? There's a war in the starting island. I don't know what's happening, but it helped me. They helped me level up. Okay, there you go. So when you reach level 50, oh, sorry, sorry. When you reach level 38, you can unlock the Meteor Rain. So that's the highest damage that uh, in this unawakened form that you can deal with. This is skill, so there you go. Use it properly. So when you reach level 50, you can now go to Pirate Island. So this will be fast. How Gamer Gnome? Okay, so defeat five Cloud Pirates. Do this, right? Meteor Rain. Use your Rock Fly. Fly on the other set of Cloud Pirates. Use your skill. Hopefully, there won't be any lag. Check this out, guys. That's a lag. <laughs> lag out there, so... <clears throat> anyway, just do that until you reach level 75 and when you reach level 75 it's now time to defeat the clown there you go so as you can defeat it using all your skills and after that when you reach level 100 or 110 you can start defeating this one in the soldier island there you go six commanders first skill there meteor here and then z skill guys why 110 you can go here with level 100, but guys, uh, you cannot one-hit this uh, mobs when you're still level 100. So I waited for my power to get strong enough to one-hit them. Okay, when you reach 120, there you go. You can start defeating the captains. Again, guys, game or no, it's easy because you're in the private server. Guys, I'm not in the private server. I'm in the public server. Check this dude. He added me as a friend, right? And then when he realized that I'm not that strong, guys, he bullied me. Check that out, guys. Oh, bullying others won't like uh, make you any stronger. Especially when you're still low level, guys. You can do this, bounty hunting when you're max level, etc. Because you can defeat higher bounty tiers. But now, this early in the game, you will only get 500 from me. <laughs> so yeah, don't do that. So when you reach level 145, you can start attacking the Axe Hand combo. Use your uh, Meteor and then... Stay away from its circle, okay? Because it has high damage. Check that out. <clears throat> okay, do this until you reach 180. Go, but gamer nom. Are you sure? Yes, well, we're not gonna farm here. Why? Check that out. Meteor rain. You cannot lure all of the fishermen. 
you need to defeat five so after that you need to wait for them to spawn and then kill them etc so it will take too long so again go back to the axe hand there you go and do this until you reach 200 when you reach 200 now's the time to go back to fish at shark island and then talk to this dude defeat karate fishman single target there you go do this until you reach 230 guys even in this island there's uh, a guy, I think he's a Filipino, his name is G-A-G-O, something like that, and he keeps on bullying me. His bounty is 600k. I was able to defeat him. I don't know how, but it gave me like 20k. So he uh, immediately quitted, etc. But that's what you get for bullying others. <laughs> well, anyway, defeat this dude, the shark man, until you reach 200 uh, 300 sorry yes 300 <clears throat> there you go and after that go to Barati or the chef island why 300 because I want you to start defeating uh, mobs here uh, there there you go the dark leg <clears throat> because I prefer single target why because the chefs here so far apart it's hard to level up okay so when you reach level 350 with dark leg go to the other side of this island and you cannot start defeating the weapon man okay so gamer gnome is it hard to level up this character in a way guys it's harder comparing it to the all the legendaries and the venom yeah this one's hard i'll show it to you later why so next up when you reach 401 you can now go to the snow village i think it's easy it's oh sorry it's easy to lure these mobs here so <clears throat> do that until you reach 450 there you go and you can start defeating this one the king snow so you can, you can just use meteor and meteor rain you can one hit this one hit combo there you go and after reaching 500 you can now go to chopper and start defeating chopper again guys when you reach this level bosses in your level can be uh, defeated by using this one hit combos there you go so again, do this until you reach 535 and go to Sky Island. You have enough money, buy the Observation Hockey. Oh, by the way, I bought the Soru in, uh, what do you call this? The Soldier Island. So here we are in the Sand Village. Oh, Sand Village. Okay, there you go. Again, I fought some other players here. Start here by defeating the Candleman. You have Observation Hockey, so you can dodge some. And then you can start defeating this bomb man when you reach 625. Guys, there's a dilemma here. When you reach 725, do you defeat the bomb man or the sand king here? King of sand. Guys, if you are in a hurry and you have lots of energy, defeat the king of sand. But check this out. You cannot use your meteor rain and meteor. You need to lure him outside. But you will be getting lots of damage. Uh, even in once uh, killing him for once you can it can drain all your dodges so it really depends to you bomb man or the king of sand guys the difference is just 5k okay see that even if it shows you will only get 8.9k experience no you will still get 89k experience how does it work gamer now as long as your uh, level is not 200 plus apart so for example your level 500 your enemy should be uh, 301 and above okay <clears throat> okay so next up sky island guys this is the fastest island to level up with so first defeat four sky soldiers it's very easy attack the two lure them okay do that until you reach 850 when you reach 850 go upstairs there you go and start defeating this dude the ball man guys again there's a dilemma here when you reach level 900 you can now defeat the rumble man but guys, again rumble man is same as the sandman even harder because you cannot dodge any attacks but you can one hit combo it that's a good thing with that so it really depends to you or maybe if you want to unlock the pole then you should consider defeating this boss okay but for me either the ball man or the rumble man is good enough okay so after reaching level 1000, there you go. Oh, we got the pole here, by the way. Now is the time to go to the next island. 
what island is it? Is the Bubble Island. So you can get, excuse me, the armament hack here. So first, you need to defeat five soldiers. It's kind of easy. Oh, we're in combat here, but good thing that even though we are getting in combat, we didn't engage in fighting. Like we kind of respected our own spaces here. But he doesn't want to do party. <laughs> Anyway, next up, defeat the leader. Guys, this is the hard part here. Check that out. There's a tree on top of you. So, there you go. See that? You cannot use your meteor rain or your meteor. So, start attacking me here. In the other side, lure him. And then, there you go. You can use your skill here. Guys, comparing it to the Venom and the other legendary fruits. Uh, see that, guys? There are problems. Like, if your enemy is inside the house or if there's a tree on top, you need to lure it. So it will make it kind of longer in farming, right? And also your skills are not that strong. So hopefully, when we awaken this fruit, it will become a lot stronger. There we go. So after defeating the leader, next up is the pacifista. When you reach level 250 or 251, you can now go to the lobby island. This is the last island for leveling up. First up, defeat the wolf. Actually, this part is kind of easy. It's just that the spawn time of the bosses are kind of longer. So do this until you reach 1,354. Uh, oh no, 325. Yeah, 1,325. And then defeat Giraffe. You just use Observation Hockey. Use your V skill, the Meteor Rain, and it's good. Okay, so do that until you reach 1,400. And after that, you can start defeating Robluchi or uh, what do you call this? The leopard, there you go. This is the last boss. So do this until you reach 1,500. Gamer Nom, again, is it easy? Guys, comparing it to the other legendary fruits and the one that we awakened, it's kind of hard. Next up, War Island. What are we going to do here? We're going to get the quest here from the traveler and after this, go to the Mermaid Island. Guys, save here. This is kind of hard, to be honest. If you don't have a friend, I haven't tried it. Guys, to defeat the seasoned fishman, you need to kill it, right? But you cannot lure it outside the house. Check that out, guys. And the level of this is kind of high. It's 2,200, so you need to defeat it using just your Z skill. See that, guys? It's very hard, but we were able to do it Whew. without any help. But there you go, we got the map. Guys, you need, really need to lure it, and I, I defeated it like 8 times. Two lives each, okay? With full observation hockey. So anyway, time to go to the war island to give the map to this dude and go back to the starting island and there you go. We're in the second sea. Okay, so what's next gamer now? We need gems and another physical fruit of the gravity fruit. So don't worry, we have that. But first, I'm gonna show you where is the awakening dude. <laughs> I like calling them dude. Awakening NPC, okay, sorry. You need to go here to this place. There you go. And there you go. So guys, we have the fruit now. Just a reminder, you don't need to like show your fruit. Make sure that it is in your inventory. Some players told me that they drop or eat or decline. Yeah, decline. Don't eat it. Don't drop it. Just talk to Awake Master. Okay? And after that, you will fight the Awakened form. Sorry about that again. If you hear a vehicle okay so you're gonna fight it 1 million HP if you think 1500 level is not you're not yet ready then don't do it level up first but here I want to make this fast 1500 we're gonna defeat this guys again this is a one-on-one -on -one fight you cannot like uh, carry your friends I don't know if that's possible but here I defeated it one-on-one -on -one. okay 1v1 there you go okay so now what's left is the gems Game Renome, how will you do that? Should you buy uh, gems using Robux? No, I'll just defeat enemies in the Golden Arena lots and lots of times, okay? There you go, you need at least 125 gems to unlock everything. So here we are, fast forward, we, were, we unlocked all the skills. It's kind of hard guys, if you can see, I posted last week and I was able to finish this after one week. By the way, I got sick, so it's kind of late. So here are the skills. First skill, five rings. 
Decent damage, fast cooldown, not bad. That's the first skill, the Z skill. Next up is the X skill, the Meteor. Check that out, guys. The damage increase as well as the Meteor looks better now. Next up, the Rock Flight looks way bigger. <laughs> and that's it. I think, I hope, hopefully they will change it. Like, you can uh, stay in the air. You don't need to, like, uh, push C button, right? Hopefully they can do that. They can change that because this is an Awakened form. It should be better. Next up, the Meteor Rain, more Meteors, there you go, higher damage, and last up is the Gravity Rock. So guys, for me, it's like more of an AoE type of uh, fruit now, Awakened Fruit, and I think it is a good match for big enemies such as Dragon, Phoenix, something like that. Guys, by the way, if you see my, uh, what do you call this, my bounty, why it's 46,000, guys, a 1 million character attacked me. I was able to defeat him. I think he's like overconfident with that. So there you go. Free bounty. Well, anyway, check this out, guys. The damage is kind of good. And if you're in a party, I think the raid will be a lot faster. Next up for the combo, you can use your gravity rock before the wave even starts. Next up, use your meteor rain and your floor. So you can use your Meteor for those uh, long range that's still alive and running. Okay, so though you don't need to chase those mobs. Okay, for again for the cooldown, it's kind of fast. So every wave, I think you can use all your skills. Game okay, mom, is it worth it to like uh, awaken fruits? For me, yes. Guys, if you see, saw my video, the Venom Awakened Fruit, it's really good. It's really strong. I was able to defeat Dragon Fruit users. Guys, this one. The 1 million guy that I defeated, guys, it is a Phoenix Fruit user. So the bigger the enemy, the better. Okay? Okay, so it is worth it. Uh, in raid wise, the CB Sea King, guys, it's very good. This one, this fruit, okay? PvP, it's also good. So there you go. You just need to use, I think, Sword to, to partner with it. So that will be it. If you have other requests, other fruits, comment it in the comment section. I'm looking at the gum fruit right now. Gear forth. Okay, so that will be it. Again, to all the viewers, supporters, subscribers, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.